Thank you for continuing to stay with us as your number one media reporting channel, as we were affected by Hurricane Irma and a week-long blackout. We are coming back, but we are seeking any and all donations in our effort to restore and get back to where we were. If you would like to donate, please click the donate button or click on the link in the description box to donate now. Thank you from all of us here. The greatest traitor within Washington may be none other than Senator John McCain. Troubling information is constantly on the rise regarding his immediate ties to Muslim extremists and the London bombers. Additionally, he's possessed and financed by Saudi extremists as well as George Soros. Since Trump won, McCain has done everything in his capacity to diminish him, which is a criminal offense. McCain continues to get the compassion of many U.S. citizens who falsely think he's a Vietnam War hero and pow. However, it's about time that we set the actual record right about the nasty things McCain did. Because of McCain's ties to high-position naval commanders during his time in support, his dad and grandpa were each four-star admirals. The vast majority of McCain's huge catastrophes and scams in the Navy were totally buried. It was reported a few weeks ago exactly how John McCain was exclusively responsible for the actual horrifying atrocity aboard the USS Forrestal aircraft carrier in 1967. McCain's cocky control of doing the wet start of their plane would result in 134 deaths. This is the most horrific loss of life the Navy has actually seen. However, because of McCain's dad being a four-star admiral, the entire event was hidden from the public. The Navy never formally put the fault on anybody for the disaster. Surprisingly, McCain would not be allowed to carry on serving within the Navy. However, he would be responsible for the actual deaths of various other soldiers, which was buried for many years. Three months following the bloody disaster on the USS Forrestal Carrier, John McCain had been sent on the bombing objective over Hanoi in 1967. He was shot straight down and grabbed by the Vietnamese, and was a pow until 1973. After the release from captivity, McCain would certainly use his pow tail and veteran position to increase to political prominence. His picture as a Vietnam War hero would go on to propel him to be selected as a U.S. Senator. John McCain is welcomed back like a pow by President Nixon. However, a hero may be the last thing which John McCain was or even will actually be. Exactly what most people do not know may be the massive federal government scandal which McCain assisted in hiding. He will continue to tirelessly hide stunning details about American POWs who in contrast to him, did not come back home safe. Using his status as a senator, McCain would be concealed from the public view. He will still support federal regulations that would hide the truth about our own POWs. The secrets which John McCain has wanted to hide regarding Vietnam POWs are enormous. Despite sworn testimony by two security secretaries associated with the soldiers left behind in Vietnam, McCain lied there are no survivors, all the while POW families wanted to know the faith of their loved ones. Large numbers of government files indicate that lots of POW kept in Vietnam were not delivered. President Nixon agreed upon a peace treaty within 1973. Just 591 men in Hanoi had been released, most notable, Navy fight pilot John McCain. Vietnam was tricked by the U.S. government which resulted in POW not being returned home. President Nixon guaranteed the Vietnamese a $3.25 billion in post-war reconstruction aid without any conditions. However, there was a catch to this promise, where Congress would need to approve these types of funds, authorization that in no way happened. Mad that the U.S. government had double-crossed them, Vietnam chose to keep the POW. Pentagon was openly shamed by whistleblowers that there had been in fact still men in Vietnam as POWs. The actual pressure by the families of Vietnam veterans ultimately pushed the government 20 years ago to create the Senate Select Committee. This was to investigate the allegations that something is kept hidden. John Kerry is selected as chairman of the board, and McCain grew to become its most crucial member. In the end, this committee became a part of the debunking machine. However, McCain became extremely important to mopping the complete atrocity of these overlooked POWs underneath the rug.
but what individuals don't understand is John McCain's essential role to keep these forgotten powers concealed from the U.S. public. Just like a traitor who switched his back on his fellow soldiers who continued to be POW in Vietnam. Forrestal Carrier was the disaster that resulted in McCain's capture by Vietnam. The truth bill only created a bureaucratic web, making the real truth even more hard to find. The provisions clearly state the reason why the government validated not to publish details about POWs in Vietnam. The Senate Select Committee was developed, and McCain and Kerry would function with each other to hide the last proof regarding the POWs. McCain screwed the POWs, by writing a massive amendment towards the act, that removed away obligations. Commanders had been kept to speedily look for missing men and report these types of incidents towards the Pentagon. The American Conservative reported. McCain was instrumental within amending the actual act, which has been strengthened in 1995 through POW champions to include legal penalties. Any federal official who knowingly keeps missing person details shall be fined. One year later, in a shuthouse Senate meeting on a not related military bill, McCain, in the behest from the Pentagon, issues a massive amendment towards the act burning out the only observance teeth, the actual criminal fines, and decreasing the commitments of commanders in the area to rapidly search for missing soldiers and in order to report the actual incidents towards the Pentagon. McCain continues to hide the truth about the remaining POW in Vietnam. What's much sicker is actually how McCain demonized both Pentagon chiefs sworn reports who testified under pledge about the soldiers left behind whilst insisting that every proof, to consist of files, witnesses, and photos, be totally buried. He'd go on in order to paint the whole story being an unpatriotic myth calling the actual testimony associated with anyone arriving forwards Vietnam POW the actual unusual rantings of the Mew enthusiasts. To this day, McCain frequently vilifies those who get their fingers on these classified files, that he's worked for many years to conceal. Ironically, the same guy who for many years has been propped up as well as hailed as POW battle hero, as well as a fighter for POW, is actually responsible for their misfortune. It's completely sick exactly how this guy, despite his murdering as well as treasonous and crooked tricks for decades, would be to this day considered to be a hero in the minds of countless Americans. It is ultimately time that we established the record directly upon who John McCain really is before this individual dies of brain malignancy, and filthy tributes are created about his devoted service to our nation. Please share this on Facebook with your thoughts. What is your opinion on this? Scroll down to comment below. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. Let's make this go viral. Share this on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what else you think. And don't forget to help support us by subscribing and joining us on Patreon, by clicking on our Patreon link in the description box down below. Don't forget to check out our all new website with much more content than on this YouTube channel. And if you are looking for the latest must-haves at the most affordable prices, then check out at this mall. Dot com. That's once again, at, this, mall, dot com. Let the world know your thoughts on this story. USA Politics Today helped contribute to this report. Thanks for watching and goodbye from all of us here.